Hello everybody, it's me Lindsay. I'm just making this video quickly and crazy. But, <coughs> excuse me, I just finished up dinner. Or it was uh, spaghetti and meatballs oh, and sausage. My mother cooked it. I helped with the cutting and then of course the spaghetti, pork and the pasta and this angel hair. But anyway, I felt something very weird was going on and I think I just found out something. I know I shouldn't be talking about this, but my uncle told my mother, my brother and me about the reason why that <coughs> that he got the that he and, and his wife Nicole were getting a divorce because he was making more money than she did. Uh, and I'm thinking, what? That's the reason? Was it, you know, I was like, really? <laughs> and of course, my mother says to me, joking around, so you know, you should marry someone who is rich. Yeah, oh, uh, sure, mother. I know somebody who is rich. I'll have to make my plans to go see him in next June. Sure, mother, whatever you say. Uh, when I mean June, I think is I'm talking about VidCon. I'm not sure if he will be going, but in case something must go, something dramatically gone down. But I don't think so. Yeah, like, are you nuts? <laughs> but I don't mean, I'm not talking about, well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway but <coughs> sorry about that I have uh, I guess the flames coming out from me <coughs> anyway so yeah so I don't know what do you guys think about when you if you are if so, if somebody you know divorce somebody for a, a stupid reason that has to deal with money. I mean, tell me, was it right or was it wrong? What do you guys think? Um, but if you know somebody who got divorced recently and it's a really good reason, you can tell me, but just say if it's a friend and or somebody you know. Uh, unless it's someone in your family, then I'm feeling sorry for you, man. <laughs> but, yeah, I, what do you guys think? Now, here's the thing. How do you guys feel about about the other thing that I should talk about? Actually, there's another thing you should talk about. Uh, I'm still working on, I'm still getting Minecraft story mode going, but... <sighs> As long as my phone doesn't burn up, but as soon as I have this video up, I'm going to have to remove a lot of videos and stuff, then update, then uh, get to play more of it. But here's the thing, I'm going to try, I'm going to still be using Jordan's uh, music, Moonbeat, because I know that he had got the new track up, um, but, the new music up, but... <laughs> Somehow, I don't know how I'm going to download it, because I'm on my phone. Excuse me again, I'm, I'm having a lot of burping. <laughs> it's because of what I ate. <sighs> then, of course, there is something else. Oy. I know I'm not supposed to say much about this, but... Well, I haven't gone out a lot since we got here. Well, except for... The stores in my aunt's house. You know, I'm not like wondering, should I go further? Maybe to run in you know who? Or should I not? What do you guys think? <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, there's one other thing. Now, <laughs> this is gonna sound funny, but. 
I was on uh, YouTube and I was, besides that, I was checking, I'm not checking out, I should say, I've been watching a lot of Jordan's videos and, uh, and then of course I was watching other things like, you know, Phil DeFranco. But then I, then of course, I just realized when I came across, when I had played the, um, the the uh, Minecraft story mode trailer, I ended up finding out, well, the interviews. Was, yeah, I played a Minecraft, uh, I played a Minecraft story mode uh, trailer. And I just ended to check out the Telltale YouTube channel, and then I decided to check out, well, a few interviews. <laughs> uh, mostly, I uh, watched, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it was really kind of funny to watch uh, Paul Rubens and, you know, since the man he's been doing a lot of stuff and acting in, since his days as ho being the character in Pee Wee Herman. And, and the last thing I saw him acting was actually doing Blacklist. <laughs> it, um, he appeared in an episode or two, no, an episode where it was revealed that he was, he played a uh, a person who was supposed to be acting as another threat, but he was working for Raymond Remington. It was kind of crazy. I don't remember the name of the episode. I don't remember what season it was either. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of fun and, and seemed to play something different. But then, of course, when I heard about Minecraft, of course, when I found out about Minecraft Story Mode, thanks a lot to, uh, Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't realize that he was, do he was one of the voices of the characters. There's, <laughs> as much as, um, some of the others who are currently on, well, like, like uh, Ashley Johnson, who's currently on uh, on the new season of Blind Spot on NBC, or that uh, I forget that actor. He's on Scorpion, <laughs> so it's kind of weird. But I don't know. But anyway, I may have to rewatch that because I was doing stuff. But anyway, <sighs> but otherwise, you know, I've been staying here. I've been swimming. Well, not much swimming. I've been trying to get into the hot, the oh, these people's hot tub, but it was filled with fire ants around it. Though so I'd rather use some kind of thing, but it worked a little. It worked. But then when I went to, but there were some ants and then there were water trying to come out and then there were more ants and I don't know what was making me feel itchy. I don't think I was actually got bitten. I think the reason why my skin, I felt my body was itching and I think it was partly because of my hair and the other part was because of the water. But it was hard to get out, to be honest. I mean, I did not want to step into those ants, so... I had to climb. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I had to climb in the way I hate. But my brother, on the other hand, he got in and out by, uh, you know, jumping over. And thank God he didn't lose his balance. For me, if I did that, I would have really lost my balance. But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. We were supposed to go to the beach today, but so my aunt told me that my grandmother was not well, so it was kind of weird. But, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I just want to know what you guys think. And another thing. You know... Besides that I know that my step grand cousin Elena, you guys are thinking, why are you saying this? Well, how can you describe a, your step cousin's daughter or, or your step cousin's son dating with your cousins? 
And I, when I'm saying step cousins, I mean, because they're not really my cousins because my aunt didn't give birth to them. They were from a previous marriage, so you have to understand. And then, of course, you have cousins, and and how you would you spread their children to you guys. So, I'm just letting you guys know. So, my step-cousin, step-grand-cousin, Elena, yes, and I do not like talking about much of her mother, or who was my step-cousin, even though I don't know what to say much, but my step-grand-cousin, Elena, she's so cute, and she's only two, but right now, she's throwing tantrums, and so far, she's been really kind of getting close to my... Well, besides my Uncle Jim is my Uncle David. Although she was, except for Sunday, she was bad. Well, she, she was really getting good with Maddie, my cousin Maddie. But she was nearly bad to my Uncle Daniel. I was really, really very angry about that. But I tried to keep a straight face. <laughs> I know Maddie tried her best, and you know, I guess she's getting really comfortable, but otherwise, I think she's throwing tantrums. You know, so either they would ignore her or they would help her, but I don't know. She's actually putting on a show because when I saw her, I. Okay, sorry about that. So anyway, I was trying to say is, well, around yesterday, I went when uh, my mother, my brother, my uncle David and I ended up going to see my aunt, and we see Elena come in, and she was like, she was being bad. I mean, I think she sees us, and then she just goes through a tantrum. Like, is that a reason to do that? Is she like showing off? I mean, especially when she gets close to David, she's like really starting to yell and then she's calm. And But I get to her and she's like, I mean, she goes down, she gets like, she goes like, she's, it's like a, I don't know, it's like an act. She's like, she goes down and then she like rolls and she screams. I don't know why. Ugh, it's a mystery. So anyway, I was trying to figure out what should I do? I really want her to watch something. I was going to have her to watch uh, some videos. But let me warn you, I'm not sure if they're really friendly enough for a two-year-old. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you might as well check out Jordan's YouTube channel. I don't mean his Minecraft ones or any of the games. You'll have to find it. It's un it's under his. It's one of the playlists called uh, Tube Heroes. I know it's kind of weird, but I mean, I was hoping if Elena can see something that is animated, I mean, it will help her. I mean, I know she got into a lot of the princess stuff because of her mother, but I mean, and <laughs> the princesses, Disney, that sort of stuff. But you know. I'm talking about my cousin, my step -cousin, grand cousin Elena, and believe me, I just don't know where what to do. So, is it a good thing to do? Is show her that first, and maybe try to approach her. I mean, she'll only see it's cartoons, but until she gets a little older, then she'll realize it's uh, is cartoons. But of a <laughs> of a man who has his own YouTube channel, oh, that's gonna be weird already. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry if you guys say this, especially if you show us to Jordan, please. I'm trying to do something for my two-year-old step grand cousin. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to post it right now. I'm going to make sure this is monetized and stuff. And then, um, you know, 
I'm gonna have to clean it up. Oh boy, wish me luck. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.